Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another make, Making Page Kits or Kit Creations for 2024. And this week, what I decided to do is dig deep, and I mean deep into my stash, and grab some stuff that I haven't seen forever. These are from Provocraft and they're called Headliners, Coordinating Tiles, Frames, and Shapes. And I'm gonna make the pages based on those. These are all ones that you have to cut out. Oh, look at that. They even have page ideas on the inside. Well, that's pretty cool. But what I'm going to do is I found some coordinating bundles or collections that I'm gonna try and use those with. And then like this one here, you know, I'll just cut this stuff up and make a page. So this one is Our Baby Girl by Echo Park. This is a fairly new collection. I bought this when Lex, she was pregnant with Lexi. So 2023. So this is going to be for Lexi. Um, I'm going to leave the stickers in there and actually the whole collection. So I'll know where the collection is. I did grab some white card stock. Ooh. Oh. I say ah because I love this. And then this is on the back side, but I can figure out what I don't want to use. And it coordinates with this really well. Let's see what else. Maybe I can change my mind. Oh, I love this too. And look. Really? Seriously. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, maybe I can use those hearts. But I love those flowers, too. Okay, maybe I can use a combination of these two. And then I can use maybe some of this. I'll have to decide, like, do I want to use this? Or do I want to use this? You know, maybe I'll just use a little section of this. I don't really, this one's okay. I don't like this one. I like this one. So maybe I want to use that. And I like the months. I like the months. So we'll put that in that. And I'll try to remember that I wanted to use that side too. I'll try to remember. And then we have all of this, and then we have our stickers. I think that's good. What we're going to do is put this back. Just trying to see here if there's anything else. I really like this one, too. Ah, first one. I don't care about that one. <laughs> Let's put that in there, too. And then, I mean, everything's going to be there. So if I feel like, oh... I want something else. That's another thing that that's good for. One, the sticker is going to be close to the collection. But two, if you start making the page and you're like, oh, I want more pattern paper, it's right there. There. Sorry for the noise. Now we need some cardstock for matting the photos. I was really sort of happy when I you know, was going through wondering like, oh, what am I going to make my page kits with today? And I, I saw this, I was like, or this here, I was like, yes. And then I found, you know, three more things that I want to use. So this is a peachy pink. And I find that this one here is a peachy pink too. So do we have more? <laughs> I hope so. If not... This is just a lighter color. If not, I'll go get, you know, a full sheet. But we're going to give it the big try here to find what I need. If not, I'll bring those to my cardstock and try to match that up. Or close, you know. Same tones at least. Okay, I'm going to go look for more. So I found both which is pretty cool. I'm going to leave the scraps in there too, just in case I can use them before I use, you know, the big one. 
this we can put to the side. And now all we have left to do is put a little bit of digital files. Let me see here. Oh, we need this first. So let's bring this one in first. Now we want a peachy pink again. Let me see. Oh, this pink is just not it. <laughs> just not it. Let me take out this thing too. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I think I'm going to have to go to the orange and go to the very end of that um, wheel of color and grab my peach from there. Okay, this was taking way too long, so I decided to shift what I want. I'm going to bring in some of that green because there's green in those, so perfect. And then I'll do that peachy color to go over top, and that works. And what else could I do? What else? What else? What else? I think for the baby page, I'm just going to do that because there's so many other things here that I can add to the layout you know so we're gonna call it good we're gonna pack this page up and then we'll come back with the second one well that's put away but that was a task and a half i've come to notice that i am out of those big baggies to put layouts in that means i have a ton of page kits all done up so that means i gotta start working on some of those which I, I'm going to this weekend. My plan this weekend is to do at least four or five. So the next thing I found were these from the berry patch and they were cutouts. There's blue, red hearts and there's red hearts. So I thought I'd combine those. I went through my collections and this collection here coordinates really well. It's a boy collection, but from Cartabella, Rough and Tumble, hey, it matches we're gonna go with it see this one perfection i don't know if i want to get a couple do i want to maybe do the layout instead of on white do it on this blue i like to once in a while you know kind of use colored backgrounds i don't know if i'm going to grab the stickers though i didn't even know the stickers were in there i think this was hiding it so definitely i can use that for a page kits at some point Ooh, i love this too should i do it on here instead and then use this for my mat or should i keep that oh and I don't like that when they do that. Yeah, I'll use it for mats. And then I have this, right, that I can use instead of a full background. That's fine. And then we'll put these hearts. Should I try to put one more pattern? Maybe this. It's very subtle. So I like that. Oh, that's good. I have two of them, so I can at least use one as a background. So that's good. Yay. Okay. Should I put red in there instead for matting? Maybe I'll put red too, not instead. And then this, we'll put this back, and we'll put this... Oh, no, I don't need to put this with that because the stickers aren't there. So that's fine. I can just put this back on the shelf, which I kind of like because I didn't, I'm not using the stickers on this one. So that means I can make a page kit with this. Okay, another thing I got, like I said, I really have to get quite a few pages done. Okay, let's do with red. 
or let's go with red. Not let's do with red. <laughs> let's go with red. And so today we're going to get four page kits done. I was considering going to an all day crop this weekend, which, you know, I could have gotten like 10 or 11 pages done, but I'm not sick but everybody else around me is sick. So what are the chances I'm not gonna get sick, right? Uh, one thing that I'm doing to oh, hopefully prevent it is I infused garlic in some raw honey last year. And every two hours I take, um, well, it's, I can't say a whole clove of garlic because the garlics that I put in there, they were like this big, so I cut them and a spider. Where'd he go? Okay. Ooh, I don't like bugs <laughs> at all. You're lucky I didn't yell. <laughs> Ugh. Do not like bugs. Okay. What was I saying? So I infuse garlic in honey, raw honey. It has to be raw honey, and you have to burp it um, like twice a day for like a month until it is ready. So you're fermenting it is what you're doing. And then when you don't want to get sick or in the winter time, you just take a clove every day, right? So that's what I've been doing. Uh, I mean, if there was nobody around me that I was sick, I would just take one a day. But because I have my daughter who's sick, Dave is sick, me and the baby are not sick. What, you know, like, okay. <laughs> so, um, I really want to make sure that, you know, I don't go there and then I end up getting sick the next day and then I expose everybody, you know, to the flu or something. There's no need of that. So, I'm just going to do it here, right? I'm going to make a few pages here instead. And that's A-OK. -okay. okay, let's get one more. I think I want dark blue because the hearts are dark blue. We'll put this one because if I can use that one instead of cutting one, I will. But if it's in a spot or I can't find a spot where, you know, I don't need a full circle, then I'll use one of these. Okay, I like that. And really, this page is going to be, you know, using those hearts. Where are they? And maybe a few words, like to go over top. But they are big, so they're gonna make a statement. I don't think, do I wanna put like maybe flowers? And hearts. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. But instead of digging in there, now I've done a drawer where I keep all my digital files. Let's see. Let me get one of these and we'll just throw it in there. So there's blues and there's pinks. You know, I'm not going to separate it. I'm just going to add it in there. So I think I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this. So we'll move on to the next one. The next one, I love these. They're Paper Fever by, or it's by Paper Fever, and it's called Make It Mine, Fun in the Sun. I have beach pictures of Lexi. Hello. That is going to work perfectly. And then I got the Shoreline by American Craft. So let's see what we have in here. I didn't even open it, so I don't know if I'm going to find something, hopefully. Okay, I like that. Okay, I need to see the stickers because I need to see what colors I got to bring in. Ooh, doesn't that remind you of the sale? So I think I'm going to go with this instead of that. Oh! <gasps> What about this as the background? It's like sunshine instead of white. 
like this on that and then we got this and that's like the sunset i kind of like that is there a pattern that's more full not full but more solid than that i think i like that one i like that one i think i'm happy with that so i am should i put the water maybe i can put a little bit of water and now that i'm thinking that should i put something that looks like sunshine so I can put it at the top. Wasn't there one that was just sunshine? Maybe I can cut that out. Hey, why not? Okay, we got that. And again, just a little bit of digital files and stuff because these are like big icons. So I think one thing on the page is gonna be like on the cluster is gonna be good. Now, I don't know so what color I want to use. I know my background is yellow. So whatever I choose, it's got to stand out on the yellow. So I don't want to go with yellow. Uh, we have red. We have blue. We have yellow. So I think blue it is. Oh, let me see here. Maybe this blue. Almost a purple, but it's still blue. And one more. There we go. Then on top, I can put yellow, red. I have red right here. Let's do that. And that'll be good because then I'll just put these like right on top of those. And we're going to call it good. Woohoo! These page kits are going to come together really quickly, even when I make the page, I think. I'm going to leave the white in there. And if I don't want to use it, I don't want to use it. Oh, I just want to say what I had to do was, I don't know why, but I had layouts in some of these. So I don't know if those were layouts that I made at crops or if they were already divided by year. It doesn't matter. There are layouts that were already done, so I'm okay with them just sitting there. And if they're all the same year, well, they're one on top of the other, so it'll work out fine. Now the next one, look at this. It's from the Paper Fever again. So, did I figure out something that I was going to map my photos for this? You know what? I'm going to do black. I love black when it's like really bright like that because it really pops. So we'll just get an eight and a half by 11 from in here and that'll be awesome. Just made me think because when I looked at that, I don't know why, because I was like, oh, you know, maybe I can find some purple um, cardstock for matting. That's what made me think, oh, I don't think you got matting for the other one. So I think I want to focus on the purple. That being said, I think that's what I want. Okay, so I like this. This, by the way, is Photo Play Hush Little Baby Girl. And I think this is 2023 too. I got it all at the same time. There's no date. But I got it at the same time. So we're gonna assume. Okay, we got that. Oh, these are so cute. <laughs> so bad it doesn't have a, an eye. <laughs> change my diaper. So then it's like her saying, hey, change my diaper. I could put letters over top, I guess. Um, I'm going to put that in there. And maybe I can get it to work with this because it's cute. But I don't know if they have any other purple paper. Nope, they do not. Okay, so 
So there's purplish in this, but maybe instead I can just use this. I like that. It kind of goes well with that. So I'm going to put that in there. Then I'm going to go get hmm, this one here is holding the purple paper. The scraps, right? I have way more than that, but this one's okay. No, this one's way off. That one's pretty good. That's the same one. You know what? I'm going to go with that because now I have two. So I know I have enough to do the layout. This one needs to go back. And I don't need to put it in there because there was no stickers that I put with this. So it can go back on the shelf and that's a-okay. So we have that, that, we have our matting. Now we have to figure out what am I gonna do? Like these, these pink, they're almost like a pink purple. So I love that. So we're gonna use those then the one and a half inch circle, maybe I can go more purple, you know, like that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Here's another purple. If I use different tones of purples, I'm okay with that. I really am. I used to be very, oh, it's gotta be the same one. It doesn't matter. And actually, I kind of like it better because then you get more variety on your page. Like it, it just looks like not all monochromatic. Like it's very um, different colors, different tones. And I really like that. You know what? I see this journaling um, labels that we have also in our shop. Let's do that. Oh, do I want flowers? There's a few flowers on here. How about if I just try to find just a couple, not too, too many, purple and pink maybe? Oh, that doesn't go there. If I see stuff in the wrong bin, I need to, I need to fix it. Because sometimes when I root through, it uh, kind of messes up. This one, it's kind of messed up, but if I tuck it, then it won't matter. So I'm going to use that one, or hopefully use that one. And that one. There's a little bit of yellow. So let's put some yellow in here. And there's blue, too. So maybe if I can find some blue ones, I can... Oh, there's yellow. Blue. We need blue. Okay. There's no... Oh, there's a blue. And what I can do, if I don't like the green, I can just cut the leaves off, right? Okay. I think I'm happy with that. Again, this is in the wrong thing. So this goes over here. This goes over here, and this goes over here. It just takes a few seconds, if you do it all the time, you know, to kind of clean it up. I don't know if I have the right colors of arrows. I'm gonna go get my arrow file. Okay, so I brought out two of them. One is all purple and the other one is like pastel paradise, but it's like perfection with that. So maybe I can grab, uh, I want to grab this pinkish purple right there. And then I want to grab this purple right there. And then I just need one more. How about if I grab like a 
dark purple. And then the small arrows to go on top, where this one I took it with the white outline, then I'm going to make it so it's not. And I'm going to do two dark purple. And then I'm going to do one light pinkish purple for this one here. Okay, I like that. And I think that was number four. That came together really quickly. And I'm really glad that this is going to end up on a layout. So that's it. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.